As Ukraine continues to modernize its military capabilities, one of the most discussed prospective armaments for the country's fleet of F-16 multi-role fighters has been the AGM-158 JSSM cruise missile, known for its long-range precision strikes. However, recent reports suggest that the upcoming U.S. military aid package, estimated at $375 million, will include the AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon, JSOW, instead. While the inclusion of this weapon is significant, it raises important questions about its utility on the battlefield, especially when compared to the much-anticipated JSSM. According to Politico, the U.S. aid package, expected to be announced on Monday, September 23, will also include artillery ammunition and spare missiles for anti-aircraft systems. But the AGM-154 SOS edition is puzzling, particularly given Ukraine's specific needs and operational limitations. The AGM-154 JSOW is a precision-guided glide bomb rather than a missile. Weighing approximately 500 kilograms, it is designed for stealthy, high-accuracy strikes but lacks the long-range capability of cruise missiles like the JSSM. The JSOW can reach targets up to 130 kilometers away when released from high altitudes, but Ukrainian pilots face significant risks in attempting high-altitude launches due to Russian long-range air defenses and aerial threats. This tactical environment forces Ukrainian pilots to operate at low altitudes, making quick, steep climbs to release their weapons, a technique that drastically reduces the range of glide bombs. For instance, when using the JDMER glide bomb from a MiG-29, Ukrainian pilots have reported effective ranges of only around 40 kilometers. The same would apply to the AGM-154 JSOW, which could potentially see its range drop to just 22 kilometers in low-altitude scenarios, limiting its effectiveness. The inclusion of the AGM-154 JSOW also raises questions about cost efficiency. While the JDMER, used by Ukraine, is a relatively affordable system costing tens of thousands of dollars, the JSOW comes with a significantly higher price tag, ranging from $250,000 to $500,000 per unit based on estimates from the early 2000s. For a country facing ongoing high-intensity combat, the high cost of SOs combined with their reduced range under current combat conditions could make their value questionable. Despite these concerns, the JSOW offers some unique advantages. Its satellite navigation system is more resistant to electronic warfare, making it a reliable option in contested environments where GPS jamming is prevalent. The SOS stealth capabilities also enhance its survivability, making it harder for enemy air defenses to detect and intercept. Moreover, the SOS warhead configurations could be an important factor in its selection. The AGM-154A variant, typically used by U.S. forces, carries a cluster warhead with 145 Blue 97 slash B submunitions, each designed for anti-armor and fragmentation effects. However, this variant may not be the one supplied to Ukraine, given international restrictions on cluster munitions. Alternatively, the AGM-154C variant could be on the table. This version features a two-stage brooch warhead, capable of penetrating hardened targets, an asset for Ukraine if targeting fortified Russian positions. Additionally, this variant includes an infrared guidance system for improved accuracy against specific targets. The U.S. Navy still uses this model, making it a plausible option for transfer. Ukraine's pressing need for the AGM-158 JSSM, a true long-range cruise missile, makes the SOS inclusion feel inadequate by comparison. The JASM's range of over 370 kilometers would allow Ukrainian forces to strike deep behind Russian lines, targeting critical infrastructure and supply routes far from the front lines. By contrast, the SOS limited range, particularly when deployed from low altitudes, means that Ukrainian pilots must risk flying within enemy air defense envelopes to achieve meaningful results. While the AGM-154 JSOW may not be the long-range solution Ukraine hoped for, it still brings useful capabilities to the battlefield. Its advanced navigation systems, stealth features, and flexible warhead configurations offer unique advantages. However, given the tactical constraints faced by Ukrainian pilots and the nation's pressing need for long-range strike capabilities, the decision to supply the JSOW instead of the JSSM may seem untimely. As the situation evolves, it will be critical to see how Ukrainian forces integrate the JSOW into their operational toolkit and whether future aid packages will address the need for longer-range precision munitions. For now, the U.S. aid remains a vital lifeline for Ukraine, even if it falls short of delivering the most desired systems.